Good job. Who he's going to choose to be his starting running back? They got about five to choose from. Yeah, they do. Rick and that time could get started. Nice play in the backfield by DJ Holt. His job, and most people believe he will, does with Jake Locker and how it works. Steve Sarkeesian, kind of a pro style offensive coach. What a play that time in the backfield, and it was made by Ernest Owusu. That was a big time play for a guy who does not get a lot of minutes. Well, the Bears will get it back here at the 45 yard line. And I doubt the cut is getting too fancy. One mansion steps up and throws and completes a pass that time to Chris uh, Drew Glover. Glover will be about a half yard short of the first down. Well, Cal's going to play in that Emerald Bowl. They'll get a lot of home crowd there right across the bay. Absolutely. Another game at AT&T Park. Here's a give to Slocum straight ahead for the first down. About the 42-yard line. The crazy thing about the Emerald Bowl is both teams on the same sideline. That's right. Memorial Stadium here. Mansion, the quarterback. Give it to Slocum again. Slocum this time will get about five more to about the 37-yard line. It's the backup California offensive line. They're still moving the Huskies back. Foster makes the tackle. 130 yards in this game. Have not had to throw the ball very much. Manchin throws this time. And the catch made. And I'd love to say who that was, but he's number 87, and we don't have a number 87 on our roster. I'll tell you this, he's on the team. He is, and he made a nice catch. Cal's going to be playing that Emerald Bowl against the team from the ACC. And it looks like Alex Stroud was the recipient of his first career catch. He is a senior, so. Good for him. Yeah, that's great. Look at that. Everybody's geeked up. Washington's going to take a 14-game losing streak. Can you imagine saying that about Washington football? No. 14-game losing streak into 2009 with Steve Sarkeesian likely to be their head coach. Slocum this time on the carry down about the 25-yard line. Well, Jeff Tedford trying to give all his seniors a little piece of the action here. And that's a great feeling for a coach. It's a great feeling on the sideline for everybody, the starters, young and old to see guys they practice with every day that don't get a chance to feature their skills on Saturdays out there. But really very satisfying for a head coach and his staff to be in a position in a game to play all those guys in a positive position when you're winning in a game to get all those guys in. And you see a lot of smiles down there on the Cal sideline because they get to watch these guys go out and do their thing here at Strawberry Canyon. Absolutely. This is Peter Gertz. Redshirt freshman tailback, and he picks up about three. So Peter Gertz, one of those guys that I'm sure works with the Scott team more often than not. He's out of San Ramon High School, Monta Vista High School in San Ramon. That's just over the hills here. And those guys are so important to a football team collectively. Guys that don't play a whole bunch, guys that are on the scout team, their attitude, especially on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, heavy practice days, for college football Sundays after a win or a loss. The attitude of those guys that set everybody up is up. This time it's Tyndall, the fullback. He'll get about a yard. It'll be fourth down. I suspect the Bears will just run another play here. Just couldn't quite hold on to it. The ball will go over to California with just 29 seconds from it. And as Jeff Tedford has it going, they really are reloading with better and better players every year. And as the facility gets built, as Waddy was talking to us about, this, this Cal football program, I mean, there's no ceiling on what they can do in this beautiful area with these players and a guy with a mind like that as a head coach. No, absolutely. And, you know, he, he really did want to get Nate Longshore some minutes today and, and have him go out on a high, and I think he managed to do that. A lot of his seniors getting touches uh, down the stretch after Cal got the big lead. And California will finish the regular season 8-4. Pretty darn good, 551 total yards today, 433 of them on the ground, 311 by uh, a guy who uh, I'm sure is going to create some attention as to a possible Heisman Trophy next year. But in the meantime, uh, bittersweet. Ty Willingham with the handshake for Jeff Tedford. I'm sure wish Ty well. I'm sure we will see him 
once again. It's been quite a season, quite a football game today for Cal. Well, they just look fantastic. Those linebackers are fun to watch. And can't say enough about the excitement of job at best. And like you said, Barry, next year for the Heisman, his name is going to be brought up more than one time, I guarantee you, before we kick it off for the 2009 Pac-10 season. Well, we've seen a lot of running backs uh, come and go in the Pac-10 conference, and uh, I would have to say that Javid Best is right up there in that very top echelon. Well, I think his speed is comparable and only comparable to Reggie Bush's speed at USC, the kind of guy that hits the edge and says goodbye, and he's better between the tackles than Reggie Bush was at USC. This is a real running back. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's the key point. I think Javid Best really is an inside the tackle runner and of course once he gets in the secondary it's over that's what happened today jim watson right now is with job at best waddy well what can you say about this guy's day 19 carries 311 yards <laughs> and four touchdowns best day you've ever had on a football field uh yeah by far unless you want to go back to high school but yeah tell me about it it started out pretty well first time you touched the ball you go 70 yards for a touchdown i mean uh it started off good because uh we came out focused and we just wanted to get this last win at home go undefeated at home and we came out ready to fight and uh, the old line created a big hole and i was able to run through it nice to give your old line some love you know you're only 45 yards away from the pac-10 all-time record were you lobbing tedford on the sideline do you want to go back in oh no i'm not trying to be selfish at all i was trying to get my other rbs in there how about uh, looking forward to the emerald bowl maybe maybe it's the vegas bowl you guys excited about that you're undefeated at home it's a great season for you yeah i mean uh, if we're if we're playing the emerald bowl it's going to be right in san francisco so it's going to be like another home game so we're fortunate for that and i mean it doesn't matter what bowl we, we, we go to. We're going to be excited about it. What's with the hard hat? Is this for the new uh, remodel, or is that because you're, you're all business? <laughs> no, that's just when you work hard, you get a hard hat. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Great job tonight. All right, thank you. All right, job at best. 311 yards, fourth best all time in Pac-10 history, Barry. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I'll say, especially since he did it in just about three quarters. Actually, a little bit less than three quarters. Job at best, no telling how many yards he might have had were he allowed to play the whole game. But as he said, not a selfish guy. All about the team, and they win it today, 40 to seven.